name's Steve Maher. I'm a physical therapist and founder of Site Solutions. And for the past 12 years, I've been doing ergonomic evaluations and training programs. And I've been going out and helping people work efficiently, setting up their office so that they decrease the risk of injury and maximize their productivity. And one of the big questions that we hear is, where should I put the keyboard and do I really have to use this keyboard tray? So what I'd like to do today is show you where to position the keyboard, what the keys are to getting it in the right spot, and maybe you don't need to use this. So, um, but before I go into detail about how to set that up, I just want to talk to you a little bit about how I got here, who I am and how I got here. So 15 years ago, I was a physical therapist for an occupational medicine clinic. And what I found was that a lot of my patients came back. I just kept seeing the same people over and over because I could make them better in the clinic, but once they got back to their work, nobody changed the problem. It was kind of like having a pebble in their shoe. You know, they take off their shoe, their foot felt great, they put their shoe back on, and it started to hurt again. So I started going out and looking at the workstation and helping people set themselves up so they could work efficiently and comfortably. So what I want to do is show you how to set up the keyboard so that you can work in a comfortable and neutral posture. Okay, so the first thing to know is that when you're setting up the keyboard, it should hold, it should be in a position where it keeps your wrist in a good neutral position. Because if the keyboard is too high or too low, you're going to tend to extend or flex your wrist. And if you do either of those, you tend to overuse the muscles of your forearm and potentially compress the nerves here in your wrist. And you can actually feel this. So if you take one arm, put it out like this, take your other hand, wrap it around your forearm with your wrist straight, and then lift your fingers up towards the ceiling. And what you're going to feel are these muscles here working really hard. And then if you drop your wrist down, you're going to feel the muscles on the underside working really hard. And then if you return to the center, you'll feel that those muscles really aren't working that hard. So when you set up the keyboard, you want to position it so that your wrist is straight or in a neutral position. So it's not extended or flexed to minimize the stress on these muscles here, but also to decrease the stress on the two nerves that run right here through your wrist. Okay, so what you do, the first thing you always do is set up the chair because that's really the foundation of the workstation. You set up the chair to hold you in that good neutral posture. And if you watched my last video, you know exactly how to do that. But you set up the chair and then you relax your shoulders, bend your elbows about 90 degrees, give or take just a little bit. If your elbow is too bent, you'll tend to elevate your shoulders. And if it's too far down, everything falls off and you tend to extend your wrist more. So bend your elbow about 90 degrees, straighten out your wrist, and then you adjust the keyboard so that it's at about fingertip level. So right now, if I was going to use this keyboard, it's maybe just a little bit high, I'd, I'd have to reach up. So I would then either raise the chair, and the problem there is my feet come off the floor and that can be a problem, or I can use a keyboard tray, okay? So with the keyboard tray, the old ones have this big knob or levers that are actually very difficult to adjust. The new ones are spring-loaded, so you just push it from the bottom and it comes up. Push the front edge down, back end up, make this movement, and it unlocks and it comes down to exactly what you want. So again, relax your shoulders, bend your elbows about 90 degrees, straighten out your fingers, bring the keyboard up so it's about elbow level. Now, the newer keyboards will have a knob system here on the side, and what that knob does is it just changes the tilt of the keyboard. So I can tilt it way down like that, or I can flatten it out like this. And the reason you would do that is to, get, to, again, maintain that neutral wrist position. If the keyboard's really low, and I'm reaching down to it, to get on the keys, I have to extend my wrist. So what I can do is turn this knob so my elbows are relaxed and my wrists are straight. If I want to work with this higher, I can flatten it out and, again, keep my wrist straight like this. So when setting up the keyboard, you want to set up the chair first, then relax your shoulders, bend your elbows about 90 degrees, keep your wrists straight, then, then re-engage with the workstation. One of my therapists says that all the time. But you re-engage with the, uh, the workstation and then bring the keyboard up to a position that allows you to type in that neutral posture. And that is how you set up your keyboard. And, and if the desk is the right height, then no, you don't need a keyboard tray. But if the desk is too high or it puts you in awkward postures, then maybe you do need a keyboard tray. Okay? So for more information about how to set up your workstation, please watch our additional videos. But we've also developed an ergonomics training program that teaches you how to do an ergonomic assessment. Not only how to set up the chair and the keyboard tray, but where to put the monitors. 
is standing really a good idea? What equipment's out there and how to use it? And then we put all of that together and show you how to actually do an assessment, how to look at a workstation, what questions to ask, in what order, and then how to, how to identify any risk factors there and then take care of those to protect your workers um, and help maximize the productivity of your company, really, and decrease the expensive costs associated with, with injuries and workers' comp claims. Thank you very much for your time. Mm -hmm.